From the Moscone Center in San Francisco, California, it's The Cube, on the ground at Dreamforce 2014. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. We couldn't be happier, and uh, we also couldn't be more grateful. And I'll tell you, uh, Dreamforce has turned into an amazing conference, the uh, largest uh, software conference in the world. Uh, we have more than 135,000 people registered to attend here, which is incredible. Plus, that's just in person. Plus, we're going to have over 3 million more join us online as well. And I'll tell you, the really neat thing about Dreamforce this year is not just the size and, of course, the innovation. We're announcing this incredible new Salesforce Wave Analytics Cloud um, and all kinds of new products. New companies are here. We have um, an incredible innovation keynote uh, tomorrow. Uh, we also have uh, an incredible launch with Will I Am in the afternoon on Wednesday. Neil Young is going to launch his new company on Thursday. All the innovation, that's great. And a huge amount of fun as well. And thank you, Mayor Lee, for giving us the Civic Center for Bruno Mars tomorrow night. We're going to have a good time. But I just want to thank all of you for giving back. Because one of the things that each and every year, Dreamforce gives back even more than ever before. And this year is no exception. We're able to give back with this incredible food drive that's happening for one million meals. And I just want to thank Tony Robbins for matching that with one million more meals. So thank you, Tony. Totally great. We also have an amazing program tomorrow night where we've raised over $8 million for our new children's hospitals in San Francisco, which is Dreamforce has raised over $23 million now for our children's hospitals. And uh, we also have an awesome program on Wednesday for our vets as well. Uh, and uh, helping all of our vets get uh, jobs. And so Dreamforce is really giving back in a huge way. And so I want to just thank all of you for that. Okay, well, with that, I'd like to just turn it over. Nancy, thank you so much for coming to Dreamforce and being here and giving us so much support for all these great years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mark, for <clears throat> excuse me, all of your leadership. Dreamforce, a little over a decade, they had the first Dreamforce and it was about, what, 1,300 people. This year it will be 100 times that many participants. Just goes to show you what, how big the dream is. So I want to thank Mark and Salesforce. As an elected official, I thank you for honoring the vows of our founders, which was to have a democracy where people would participate. And what you are doing with Salesforce and now Dreamforce is to strengthen and enable customers that are citizens, people in our country, to have a stronger voice, a stronger connection. They asked me to tell you briefly what I saw this morning. What I saw this morning was City 311, a central command where citizens, where people, citizens or not, could call in and be connected and, and register a concern. I saw what they were doing with VA STAT, how we honor our veterans by giving them a stronger voice through technology. I saw what they were doing to enable people more easily to access the Affordable Care Act and what that means for children, families, and seniors in our country. So it strengthens, when President Clinton was president, he called the people the customers, the customers of government. It strengthens people's customers' voices. So we thank you for honoring that part of our democracy. We also thank you for honoring the service of our veterans, the aspirations of our children with you and Lynn and all of that you are providing for children's health in our area and children learning technology to strengthen their voices. But also, on this Columbus Day, I want to liken Mark Benioff to the great navigator. He has, with Salesforce and Dreamforce, helped people navigate public, private, nonprofit sectors for the greater good, for the greater good. 
He taught us first and foremost, earliest of anybody, to embrace the cloud. And in that cloud, our dreams can come true. So thank you, Mark, for all that you have done, for the children, for San Francisco, for our veterans, for the country, for the universe. And now it is my privilege to, pre uh, to present someone who's already been acknowledged, and he and I are very excited to be here with Mark and with Tony Robbins, you can just imagine. But it's my pleasure now to yield the floor, as we would say in Congress, uh, to our distinguished mayor of San Francisco. He's operational, he's receptive to change for the positive, uh, for the positive that's making progress. And as, as, as uh, not only did he close the streets for the concert, which is important, he opens the city to every kind of possibility. And that's what makes San Francisco so great. And he probably considers himself, although we all contend for this honor, to be the number one San Francisco Giants fan in San Francisco, Mayor Ed Lee. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy and Mark. Nancy, thank you for your leadership. You are our speaker. You're our conscience. You're our representative. Go, girl. We need you in Washington. Thank you very much. Go, Giants. Ladies and gentlemen, it's October. Welcome to San Francisco. It is Dreamforce time. You don't know how excited I get when it comes to October. I want to welcome all of you here to what used to be Howard Street. Is now, every October, it's Innovation Park. And Mark and I keep talking about how do we keep talking about innovation right here, physically, mentally, spiritually. And I want to say thank you again to Mark and Lynn for being such great San Franciscans. Salesforce has been there with me when it comes to education, when it comes to housing, with our vets, with innovation in our companies. And this Dreamforce is going to be innovation, it'll be fun, but most importantly, and something always dear to me, something that Leader Pelosi and I have always talked about, and I think I really want to admit to you, I always had the hesitancy of being mayor of San Francisco. And I wish for the day where I could talk to all these companies that are coming in and say, can we all work together to make this city successful? Well, you have the gold standard in Salesforce.com right here in San Francisco. People, that's the number one thing they focus on, is their people. And when they model the 111 model for all of us, using people, technology, and resources to reach out, that really warms my heart. When they come with me to the schools and say to each other and to us, we can lift the schools up with our innovation, that warms my heart. When the people and the employees of Salesforce say yes, we can give another million meals. Joining Tony, that again warms our heart. This is the essence of what I've always felt. Companies, great companies. Companies that are started here in San Francisco, grew up here and will be here forever. This is what San Francisco means to me. And by the way, if you're wondering, across the country, there's a reason why the initials Salesforce SF combines with San Francisco. It is our heart. This is what we always do. And that's why I say thank you, Mark and Lynn, to, to both of you being such great philanthropists to our city. Thank you to Salesforce, its foundation that's working so closely with us to transform and improve our public schools. Thank you to the employees of Salesforce and all of your subcontractors. Everybody here at Dreamforce, this is really great for our city, great for the region, but also great for the world. With that, I know that uh, before we end, we're going to listen to Mr. Robbins here, and I know him to be someone who is not only a motivational speaker, He's been an inspiration to all of us, but he also has a very deep personal commitment, and that is to fight hunger. And so I hope all of you brought a can, just like Lita Pelosi, Mark, and I did, and that we will meet this match. We're going to have Tony Robbins come up here and explain a little bit more what this match is, but please help me welcome someone who's not only motivating us, inspiring us, but he is...
Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your participation here. I want to thank Mark for creating an environment that brings people together and every single year is focused on giving. I've known Mark for about 25 years and really very well on this whole journey the last 14 or 15 with Dreamforce to see this grow. I think it's grown because it's added such value. We all know in business, the only thing that makes a business grow is do more for others than anybody else can do. But I think in life, it's doing more for others. So I want to thank everyone who's participated and I want to match it. My goal is to make that million happen, not be a promise, but occur. And I'm not doing it as grandstanding. It's because for me, I know that in this country, one out of four families, well, here in Marin County in San Francisco, one out of four families are not sure if they're going to have food at night. One out of 11 children live in extreme poverty of $11,000 a year. So when you live in San Francisco, when you're in the tech business, it's pretty easy to start to think about you know, what challenges are and forget what they really are. Half the planet lives on $2.50 a day. So I know that those statistics are real lives. I grew up in that environment. We had times with no food. And I'm here today because one day when I was 11 years old, there was no money and no food on Thanksgiving, which magnifies it. Because you know, everyone else is having a giant feast. We wouldn't have starved, we would have found something, but nothing would have happened. Somebody knocked on the door and delivered this meal to me. So I've been paying it forward for the last 37 years. I've fed 42 million people during that time through my foundation. But this year I decided, when Congress, and I know you didn't participate in this, Ms. Pelosi, but Congress last summer cut what was known as food stamps in the past by $8.7 billion. That's the equivalent of every family they support going without a meal for one week out of every month for 12 months. And it's just gone by. So this year, I was coming out with a new book, and I thought, I'll donate all my profits, and then I got more inspired, and then I thought, you know what, I want to do something that gets people galvanized. So I'm feeding 50 million people myself on November 15th, in addition to this 1 million, I'm hoping you'll match me with, and, and the goal is to feed 100 million people. So this would be a part of that process. So I hope you match it. If you'll do, I'll deliver the million, and hopefully, more importantly, I hope maybe at this Thanksgiving, instead of just delivering money and food, I found that if you'll go actually physically deliver, not as the giver, t-shirts and jeans and go someplace, you'll be hooked for life. And if you take your kids, they'll understand the secret to living really is giving. Thank you for letting me be with you.